Governor Pritzker is responding to our Target 3 investigation, The Bottom Line. A contract dispute between Springfield Clinic and Blue Cross Blue Shield disrupted affordable access to health care for tens of thousands of patients. Our Capitol Bureau Chief, Mark Maxwell, is live in Springfield with the very latest. So, Mark, the Pritzker administration was prepared to testify about this yesterday, but never got the chance. And Jessica, that cancellation really came as a su uh, surprise, especially for those officials at the Department of Insurance or the doctors at Springfield Clinic who were waiting for hours and hours, and then their moment never came. It came as a bit of a gift, that cancellation did, for officials at Blue Cross Blue Shield, who, whose executives got to avoid the hot seat. Today, Governor Pritzker rebuking the largest health insurance provider in the state, calling on Blue Cross Blue Shield to get back to the negotiating table with Springfield Clinic. Precisely why we've imposed a fine. It's precisely why we've said directly to Blue Cross Blue Shield that you need to be at the table negotiating with the Springfield Clinic. We want to make sure that there is network adequacy and you can't walk away from the table, either side, I might add, but specifically Blue Cross Blue, Cross Blue Shield. They ought to be at the table working to resolve this. Also new, a new bill just surfacing in the House today. It responds to several items in our Target 3 investigation. It would spell out fines for insurance companies that behave poorly or in a predatory manner in the health care marketplace. And here's the biggest thing. This new bill, if it becomes law, it would require insurance companies to go back in time, re-adjudicate and, uh, and reset those uh, medical bills, those big medical bills that people are getting, and set them back at regular in-network prices. We told you about Jimmy Whaley, that union electrician who's facing $50,000 in cancer bills. He showed us the back of his insurance card just yesterday. It says combined, even with out-of-network insurance, the most he should have to pay is $2,500 for anything out-of-network. He's paying 20 times that if he has to pay this bill. They're appealing that to the U.S. Department of Labor. Reporting in Springfield, Mark Maxwell, WCIA3, your local news leader. All right, keep at it, Mark. Thank you so much.